Hello, Springville Bulldogs. Welcome to week two of e-learning for the music room. I miss you all very much. I hope e-learning is going well. I know I got many pictures from lots of your parents about the instruments you made from last week. I had some kids make a shaker out of a soda bottle. I had a few kids make shakers out of Clorox wipe containers like I showed you. And they used all different things. It was so great to see your different creations. This week, we're gonna be doing a bit of a different activity because our do-it-yourself instrument activity from last week had to do with creating an instrument out of something we already own. But this week, we're gonna be listening for music that already exists in the world around us. The awesome thing and one thing I love so much about music is that it exists in our everyday life. We have music all around us. There's music when you are driving in the road on your car. A lot of us listen to the radio. You might hear music in an elevator. Somebody might sing you a song when you go to sleep, or you might even sing yourself some music in the shower. There's so many things around us that create music. And so this week, I want you to take some time to try to find those. We're gonna be going on something that I call a listening scavenger hunt. And with our scavenger hunt, we have two goals. Our first goal is going to be to use our listening skills to identify different sounds in the world around us. Goal number two is going to be pairing those sounds with a different aspect of music. So we're gonna pick some sounds and we're gonna figure out, is this sound loud? Is it soft? Does it have a steady beat or does it not? Is it high or maybe it's low? Figure out those sounds throughout the week when you find sounds that match the categories I'm about to show you. I'm gonna put up an image here in the video that that is a worksheet. You don't need to print it off, it's just for you to look at, but it's gonna show you the different things that you can be listening for. All right, so we can see at the top together that it, the first thing it says is directions. And we're gonna choose five things from the list below to find around our house or our backyard. The listen for list actually has eight things in it. So if you wanna find something that matches all eight, that is absolutely fine. I encourage you to do so. But I want you to at least pick five of them. Once you find five objects or five things that match those categories in our listen for list, go ahead and share them with a friend or a family member, or you'll see down below how to share them with me. All right, let's jump into our listen for list. So it says, listen for, let's read them together. Read them with me. Something with a steady beat. We're gonna go down the list. A fast sound, a low sound, a soft sound. Something without a steady beat, a slow sound, a high sound, a loud sound. Then below that box, it says, Write down a list of the items you found and which sound they fit with. Then send a picture to the list or pictures of you on your scavenger hunt to Miss Newitt. Like I mentioned previously, I would love to see what you're doing at home as far as music goes. So I put my email on that worksheet so that parents or friends or family members can send me pictures of you doing your musical activity. So throughout the week, I want you to be thinking in mind those eight different things. Just as you're going about your daily life, if you hear something, think, wow, that sounded really loud. I'm going to go ahead and jot that down. Or, man, that has a really nice steady beat. I could tap my shoulders to that. It's got a really good steady beat. I'm going to jot that down. Or maybe you hear something that's super, super soft, and it would fit with our soft category. Go ahead and write that down. I made my list here in a notebook. It just says scavenger hunt sounds. And I picked six different sounds that I noticed throughout the week. I took videos of my sounds so that you could have examples of what I heard. So we're gonna start with my steady beat sound. Now this morning, my dad was actually working in our backyard and I heard him hammering out there and thought, oh my goodness, that's such a great steady beat. I'm gonna take a video. Check out him hammering and see how great of a steady beat he is. My next sound that I found was my fast sound. So I noticed that we have this big fountain in our backyard and water kind of spills over the edge of it. 
And when the water spilled over the edge, the sound that the water trickling made was really, really fast. So let's take a listen. All right, my next sound, and this was actually one that I had thought of when I was putting this worksheet together. I knew that for a loud sound, I wanted to use a car horn because that's something I hear a lot when I'm driving and it's super, super loud. But I couldn't actually record anybody with a car horn when they were driving because that wouldn't be safe for me. I actually just had a family member honk their horn for me and I took a video of it. <laughs> A car horn is super loud, but again, you don't have to use that as one of your things. These are all examples I'm giving you of things I found, but I want you to find your own unique sounds throughout the week. All right, let's keep going. My next sound that I found was a high sound. You can see that I wrote down microwave. I'm gonna go ahead and play what my microwave sounds like. That was the timer going off when I finished cooking something and see how we could hear that it was nice and high. Next sound is gonna be our soft sound. Now I have a fan that sits on the floor of my room that keeps me cool at night. And when it's on the lowest setting, it blows air really softly and you almost can't even hear it, but it's really soft because the air isn't moving very fast. So take a listen. You gotta listen very, very carefully because it's so quiet. So listen for my soft sound. My last sound is going to be one without a steady beat. I wrote no steady beat. And so I was walking into my house one morning from getting the mail and I heard the birds chirping in this really large bush. So you can't actually see the birds in my video, but you can hear them chirping. And you'll hear that I can't really tap my shoulders to it. Think back to that video I showed you of my dad hammering. He went. And I could keep a steady beat to his sound. But when the birds were chirping, they didn't really have that steady beat. It was a beautiful song, but it didn't have the same steady beat that it did when my dad was hammering. So that was my no steady beat sound. So check it out. That's my list. I wrote all the things down. I found them throughout different days of the week. So this is not a project that you have to finish all in one day. You totally can. You can go on a scavenger hunt throughout your house, take some time and figure out what your different objects are gonna be. Or you can just keep a list throughout the week of things that you hear in your daily life. I want you to be listening for all those different sounds, loud, soft, fast, slow, steady beat, no steady beat high and low. We've got so many different opposites in music. So be thinking about how those play into your lives. Again, I'd love for you to reach out and send me what you're doing throughout the week so that I can see what you're up to and what you're creating and finding at home. I miss you all so much. And I hope you have an awesome week of e-learning number two. See you guys for week number three next week. Peace out.